Hello, I'm David Harper and this is my painting, my abstract picture titled City Dreaming and I'd love to take you on a journey through this city. So sit back just for a few minutes and let your mind wander while you and I go for a walk around the city. Now listen, we know art is subjective. You might love my work, you might equally hate my work. I get it, but it really does all have meaning and so I'm going to attempt in this video to explain it whilst taking you on a journey through it. Wish me luck, here we go. First of all I'll tell you about its composition. Painted on board, very thickly painted using brushes and also my fingers so when you run your hands over this board you really get a sense of it too. I mean it's just I, I, I paint quite quickly and with urgency. It's just that when I start, I just have this feeling that I need to get whatever's in my head, ideas that have been building for potentially months out and onto the board as quickly as I can. I just go for it. I never choose the colours beforehand. They just come at me and I use what I've created in front of me and rarely will I ever use a block colour. All of my colours are mixed and so each and every painting is very different. And this City Dreaming is one of a series of paintings like this all inspired by city life that I've been working on for the last five years or so. So same theme but each and every painting obviously completely different. It's the hustle, the bustle, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the scents of the city. I've tried to capture here. So let's see if you can get your eye in. Here we go. So let's start at the bottom left of the painting and you have this section of squares. This represents a railway line taking you in to the city deep right into the centre of it. So just follow that line to this point here. Below it is a river. Above the railway line is a Victorian red brick in my mind bridge with a brand new motorway again leading you deep into the city or out depending on how you're feeling. Now look over to the right hand side here because this series of abstract pictures is all about shapes and each shape has when you get your eye into it has meaning and just follow the the brush tip here. So this shape is a bottle. It's a bottle of wine. Here is the cork. I finished the cork with a, an eye. There's eyes and lips and noses and faces all over this picture. Here again is the body. This is the base of the bottle looking through the liquid and I've created an eye here. Nose, lips, representing just people, activity. A city is bulging with shapes, signs and people. And talking of people, here we have an abstract person. Just get your eye into the shapes there. Are they running? Are they exercising? Are they chasing a bus? Are they late for work? You decide, but again, another representation of just activity, human activity within the city. Above the bridge, this section here, is a tower block. So apartment block, windows, characters, people looking out, watching the world go by. And I think sometimes you can be in a city and it is the noisiest, most vibrant place, but you can also be incredibly lonely in a city. And so, you know, these people can be amongst millions, but feel very, very much alone. So it's, it's real life depicted here in my mind, right? This is my city dreaming. Remember, very much inspired by dreams and kind of wanderings in my mind. So behind and around the tower block, this big green section here represents roadways around the city. And then either side, left and right, these are trunks of trees. So bulging life, natural life, including wildlife in actual fact, an attempt to green up the city. So around the block, the roads, but of course, there's no great freedoms in cities. You may think you're free, but you're not. The arrows represent direction. So you can only go in the directions of 
the arrows. And living in a city, you are directed all of the time by arrows. And these arrows, the shapes actually are inspired by 18th century road signs, the big boulders you might see occasionally in the verges with, you know, town signs, Oxford and an arrow. That shape of the arrows is inspired by them. So amongst the trees, again, the, the trunks here, you'll see the foliage and they're always in the shape of faces. So nose, lips, you've got an eye here, another face here. This section of triangles built on top of one another, this is a pylon, so representing power coming in to the city. And then if you look to the right hand side, here's another eye. I mean, you will find eyes and lips and stuff all over my paintings of city dreaming. And this final eye, the top eye, top right hand corner here, is very thickly painted so you can actually feel the pupil there. I occasionally put text into my paintings and I have here. So you might just be able to read that. It says coffee. So that all seeing eye is overlooking the city and it's looking for coffee. Cities survive, thrive and live on coffee, not just the drinking of coffee, but the meeting over coffee, socialising, business meetings. In other words, finance keeps that city churning. So there you have it. That was my attempt to not only explain city dreaming, but to take you on a journey through it. Thanks very much for watching the video. I'm David Harper. Until next time, cheerio.